Hey guys, Chaos here. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over Yai Miko, uh, the character that got announced a week ago, I think, and she's going to be coming in the next update. Uh, as far as I know, she's going to be the first update of the, of the banner, and uh, this is a character that a lot of people want, and a lot of people want info on this character, so that's basically what this video is going to be about. Um, I'm going to be going over, first of all, her character materials, and then we'll be hopping over to HoneyHunter.com and looking over all the skills and talents that she has. But before we do that, um, I just want to shout out my Discord server really quick. Um, it's where I have all my uh, materials. Um, I make these for every character, so uh, make sure if you do want to check these out or any of the old ones to join the Discord server. We also have a bunch of cool little uh, tidbits like, uh, you know, YouTube notifications for if you ever miss a stream or a YouTube notification. Uh, we got some announcements and stuff. We got some events right here. Pretty cool. Uh, we have a Welkin uh, Moon giveaway right now till 750 subs. So make sure to join and let's get right into the guide. So first of all, you're going to need some materials to level up Yamiko, of course. So um, as always, you're going to need 419 Heroes Wits and 7,043,400 Mora. This is with every character if you do want to level 90 Triple Crown them. You don't always need this amount if you aren't going to invest uh, that much into a character. But I know a lot of people are waiting for this character and they do want to Triple Crown her. So this is basically going to be everything you need to do that. Um, you may need less, of course, it depends on how much you want to invest in this character. Um, then you're going to need some Electro Crystals like always, um, one of the tiny ones, nine of the blue ones, uh, nine of the purple ones, and six of the gold slash, you know, big ones. And then uh, you can get these from just any Electro boss or any boss that drops multiple elements like the Geo Vishaft does that I think, and also um, I think, uh, what's his name, Magu Kenki also does that. And also probably this new boss that we have right now in Ancanomia, the new uh, double Vishaf dragon thing. I don't know what it's called, but you're going to need uh, these materials from it. So instead of farming like the Electro Hypostasis or something for this, you could just go farm that. And then with the crystals you get from that, you can uh, use Dust of Azoth to create the crystals you need. Then you're going to need some Nobushi materials, 36 of the gray ones, 96 of the green ones, and 129 of the blue ones. This is again level 90 triple crown you may not need all of this just keep in mind uh, that you might need less but uh, the next thing we're going to need are the sea genoderma we haven't actually had to use this for any characters since i think kazuha so you might already have a lot if you didn't wish on that character or if you just collect a bunch uh, you're going to need 168 to level 90 um if you do want to level 80 it's going to be a hundred and eight i believe uh, yeah, it's 108, so if you are looking to do that, that's going to be how much you need. Then you're going to need some talent books, uh, 9 of the uh, green ones, uh, so basically this is to get all talents to 3, actually no, this is to get all talents to 1, and then 6 to 3 of the blue ones, this is to get all talents to 6, and then 114 of the gold slash purple ones, this is to triple crown. You're probably going to need less, as I said, if you're not triple crowning, but, you know, this is just uh, the maximum amount of materials you are going to end up needing. Then you're going to need 18 of a new weekly boss material. Uh, yes, in 2.5 we are getting a new weekly boss, so Yaimiko will be and will end up utilizing those uh, weekly box resources, so make sure to use those. Um, well, it's not like you have a choice, but make sure to save your solvent if you do want to level up these talents a bunch. Because, uh, you know, in the first weeks of a new weekly boss, it's usually hard to get those materials. So make sure to save up some solvents and not use all of it. And then finally, you're going to need three crowns. Uh, of course, if you do really like the character and you want to end up maximizing their damage. Alright, so here we are on Honey Hunter. Um, now, keep in mind, a lot of this information is uh, not complete. So it will probably be changed. Um, but yeah, here is the, you know, the card for Yaimiko, looks pretty cool. Uh, here's the birthday, uh, the birthday, I just said that wrong. And element is Electro, of course, and weapon type is Catalyst. Um, first of all, with the stats, um, pretty decent base attack, not bad. Um, HP, defense, normal stuff, we got some crit rate, which is good for, uh, you know, burn damage. 
Um, Ascension, uh, we already looked at this. And then, let's get into the talents. So first one is called Spirit Fox, a Sin Eater. Um, summons fourth Gitsune Spirits, uh, initiating a maximum of three attacks that deal electro damage. So it's a three uh, string attack and consumes a certain amount of stamina, you know, just the basic stuff. Um, the multipliers are not the best, but not the worst. The charge attack is pretty decent, not bad. And, of course, the plunge is okay, but you're not going to be doing much of that with this character. Next, we got um, her elemental skill, Yekan Evocation Seshu Sakura. I cannot say that. Um, so, basically, um, it will periodically strike one nearby opponent with lightning. Um, when there are other, I'm just going to say Sakura nearby, their level will increase, thus boosting their damage dealt by said stacks. A maximum of three Sakura can exist simultaneously, and the highest initial level uh, can uh, Sakura can reach is five. I mean three. And so basically, these are going to be like basically just Oz, but you know multiple of them. So basically, the more you have of them, uh, uh, aka three. Uh, the higher you can get the level of the Sakura. I don't know how you get four though. I, I'm not sure how that works. Maybe if you have all three down, you get to level four. But basically, you're going to be doing this much damage um, every few seconds, which is pretty cool. Uh, the duration is going to be 14 seconds, so that's uh, pretty good uh, longevity for the ability. And the cooldown is nine seconds, which is pretty pretty long. Um, finally, uh, her burst, uh, Great Secret Art, Tenko Kenshin. Uh, basically what this ability is, is, um, you just plop down a wolf that does a lot of damage, um, and I think, uh, so basically here, uh, it does a lightning bolt that plummets down, and when she uses it, it destroys all the Sakuras nearby, uh, which forms them into thunderbolts that deal this much damage, so if you have a lot of um, Sakuras down, uh, you can multiply this by three, and that's going to be some pretty fat damage. Um, so that's going to be where most of her damage is going to come from. And then the actual skill is going to do uh, five, uh, 468. So you can, uh, if you have three down, you can expect this to do around 2,000 damage, 2,000%, so that's really good. Cooldown is 22 seconds, not bad, and the energy cost is 90. This is our second 90 energy cost uh, character other than Yai. So actually, uh, other than Raiden, I meant. Um, actually, uh, Yai is going to be um, pretty decent with a Raiden. She's going to be pretty good damage dealer to have with Raiden uh, because of the energy cost, which means, uh, first of all, Raiden can support her, give her more energy, um, you know, uh, stop, you know, any energy problems. And also, the 90 energy cost will benefit Raiden, because then she'll get her stacks faster, um, which means more damage. And that's basically the character. Um, there's some passive talents here, really quick we can go over. Um, basically, uh, when she crafts character talent materials, 25% to create an extra talent material uh, from the same region of a random type. So this is pretty cool, you can get like a random book. Another passive, um, other nearby party members can decrease the cooldown of the Aimiko's, uh, this is the burst, no, oh, this is the E. Uh, hitting opponents with elemental skill decreases it by one, and hitting opponents with elemental burst decreases it by one. So basically, other party members can decrease the cooldown, which is pretty cool. So, um, if you have a character on the team that spams this, aka Raiden, you can spam the uh, this, and also that he would do a lot of damage. Um, it would decrease it pretty fast, but there is a cooldown of 1.8 seconds for how much you can decrease it. Uh, and the final passive is going to be every point of elemental mastery Yai yeah, has is it will increase the ease damage by 0.12%. Now this is pretty big. This is how she's going to get a lot of damage used. So basically you want to stack as much elemental mastery as you can on this character and it's going to be doing a lot of damage. Next we're going to be going into constellations for those dedicated Yai Miko fans. Um, 
each time you use the burst, uh, it will activate a. Um, no, every time you use the burst and it activates a uh, one of the sakuras, it's gonna restore seven uh, energy for itself. So that's pretty good. Sorry about that. My phone is uh, doing something. <laughs> okay. Um. Next up, we got uh, C2. Um, uh, increases or decreased cooldown for the E by 20%, and its AoE is increased by 100%. That, of course, is a big one. Uh, C3, uh, as the normal, uh, it will increase the E by uh, 3 talent levels. And then uh, C4, when her E um, Thunderbolt hits opponents, uh, the electro damage of only more party members will be increased for 20% for 5 seconds, which is pretty good if you have other electro damagers in your party. Um, next, C5, of course, burst talent level increased by 3. And then finally, the C6, when you... Uh, so the E's start at level 2 when created, max level increased to 4. So never mind uh, what I said earlier, this is like my first time going over this, but Basically, um, the level 4 will only be for if you have C6. If you don't have C6, you're going to be maximized at uh, level 3 for the E. And the attacks will ignore 45% of the opponent's defense. That is a big damage upgrade. Of course, that reminds me of the C2 Raiden, um, which uh, ignores 60% of defense uh, when using her burst. So that is a pretty a cool little... Um, Constellation, of course, for a C6, it's not the greatest. Um, of course, I would never recommend the C6, um, but you know that it's it's okay. It's not horrible. It's not like C6 Bennett, but it's not like C6 Ito. So it's good, but it's not insane. And that's basically gonna be it for Yai Miko. Um, that's everything you need to know about the character um, uh, in terms of uh, character skills and materials. I will be coming over with more videos uh, about the weapons and um, also some team comps you can use with the Aimiko. So make sure to um, stick around to the channel and subscribe. Maybe drop a like if you enjoyed the video and join the Discord server if you do want more notifications, you know, in case the YouTube ones don't work. Or if you do want to join our Welkin Moon giveaway that ends at 750 subs. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>